Hey guys! The other day I asked what questions you had for MSPI scores and YouTubers. Today I'm going to answer them. In this video, I'll tell you how to gain support, how much money I've spent on VIP, how much money I make on YouTube, and more. I've made this video before, but I decided to do an updated version because a lot has changed. I'll put the link to part 1 in the description in case any of you want to check it out. I'm going to open some gifts while I answer your questions. So I just want to take a moment right now to thank everyone who sent one. I really appreciate it. Let's start with your questions for high scores. But first, a quick disclaimer. In answering these questions, I am answering for myself only. Every high score and YouTuber's answers will be different. These are just mine. Question 1. What is the best way to gain supporters? The best way to gain supporters on MSP is by joining and posting on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. By doing so, you'll meet many new people who will be happy to help you out and support you. Just make sure you return the favor. Not only will you make new friends and gain new supporters, but you'll also start building a reputation and more people will know who you are. Social media is truly the best way to get discovered on MSP. More ways to gain support include advertising, rewarding commenters with gifts, and doing giveaways. By the way, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Question 2. How much money have you spent on VIP? I've spent about $1,000 on my main account, which I've had for 6 years. I've also spent a lot of money buying VIP for my friends, supporters, and giveaways. I used to waste a lot of money on MSP and I really regret spending as much as I did. These days I spend much less. When I do buy VIP, it's for a video, and most of the time I earn that money back once it's uploaded. How much money have you spent on VIP? Let me know in the comments. Question 3. Is it possible to reach level 101 without ever getting VIP? I don't know of anyone who is level 101 and has never had VIP, but it's definitely possible. It will just be much harder and take a much longer time. Question 4. How do you level so fast slash have such an easy time leveling? Once people know who you are and you've gained a fair amount of support, you'll level more easily and more often. For me, being on the first few pages of high scores and having a YouTube channel really helped me gain support and made it easier for people to discover me. Question 5. How did you gain a following slash support? I first gained support through my movies. To get views, I would advertise everywhere and use gifts to reward the people who watched. Then, it was my team and art books that got me support, and now it's my YouTube and other social media. Question 6. How often do you play MSP? I play MSP a few times a week, mostly for my videos, but sometimes I'll log on and make a look when I'm bored. How often do you play MSP? Let me know in the comments. Question 7. Approximately how much fame do you earn per day? I earn about 2.5 million fame per day. Question 8. How long does it usually take to level? And how long did it take to reach level 101? A few years ago, I leveled every week. In the last year or two, however, it would take about a month or two to level because I had more fame to earn and wasn't as active. As for how long it took to reach level 101, it took about 5 or 6 years. Question 9. What don't you like about being a high scorer? One thing I don't like is the number of imposters I have. People pretend to be me to scam and hack other players or just for the sake of it. Question 10. Are you friends with other high scorers? I'm not really close to any high scorers, but there are a few that I like to talk to every once in a while, like Selena and Blue Orange Tiger, but my closest friends are not high scorers and don't play MSP anymore. Are you friends with any high scorers? Let me know in the comments. Question 11. How many messages do you get each day, and do you respond to noobs, or do you only respond to high levels? I get about 50 messages per day. I rarely have time to look at or reply to my messages because I'm not on MSP much, and when I am on, I'm busy. But when I do have time to respond to my messages, I respond to everyone regardless of their level. Question 12. Do you have to be an MSP YouTuber to get popular on MSP? You do not need to be an MSP YouTuber to get popular on MSP. However, having a YouTube channel will help. I was able to gain popularity and make it to level 45 before I started YouTube. Just look at the high scores and you'll see most of the top players don't even have a channel. Now let's move on to the questions you guys had for MSP YouTubers. Question 1. How much money have you made on YouTube? It depends on what you mean by made. I've been making money on YouTube for about 3 years now, and the amount YouTube says I've earned is not how much I've actually been paid. According to YouTube, I've made almost $20,000. That is correct, however, that is not how much I've received from them. I am part of a network because I cannot use AdSense, and joining one was the only way I could get paid. Networks take a huge chunk of your money. When I first started with mine 3 years ago, I was only paid 65% of what I made and they got the rest. Fortunately, I was able to increase my revenue share throughout the years to 87%. Because my network got a significant share of my earnings, I've been paid thousands less than what YouTube says I've made. In addition, YouTubers are considered self-employed, and there is a self-employment tax of 15.3% in the United States. So at the end of each year, I have to pay 15.3% of my earnings to the government. 
I'm not going to say how much money I make after my network and the government take their share, but I will say that it is nowhere near $20,000. Question 2. How much money do you earn per video? The amount of money I make per video depends on several factors, including the length, number of views, how long people watch, the time of year, the economy, and more. I don't have a definite answer, but I earn about $1 to $2 per thousand views. Question 3. How did you grow your channel slash become popular in the MSP YouTube community? I grew my channel by promoting it on MSP and my social media, and by uploading as much as I could. I also did some giveaways. I became popular in the MSP YouTube community through a few of my most popular videos, including MSP in 10 years, which got over a million views. Question 4. How do I get started with MSP YouTube? To get started with MSP YouTube, promote your channel on MSP and social media. Upload as much as you can and see if anyone wants to collab. If you're still having trouble growing, try doing a giveaway. The most important thing, however, is to not give up. Your channel probably won't take off instantly and will take some time to grow. Please have patience and don't let yourself get discouraged. Question 5. Do you think MSP YouTube is dying? I think MSP YouTube is dying, but only in certain countries such as the United States, United Kingdom, and Canada. In other countries such as Poland, MSP YouTube is still thriving. I think the main reason MSP YouTube is dying in the US, UK, etc. is because we've lost the majority of our creators. Poland still has a handful of big creators and that's why I think they're still doing so well. Question 6. How long does it take to record and edit videos? Do you plan everything out before you start? To make a video, I first have to come up with and decide on a video idea which can take a day or two. Then, I brainstorm, research, and script, which usually takes another day. Then, I'll record my voiceover and gameplay, which typically takes anywhere from 45 minutes to 2 hours. After that, I do some editing, and then I go back to re-record my voiceover and gameplay to get it exactly how I want it. Once I'm satisfied, I do the rest of my editing, which takes many hours. I plan out my title description and tags while the video renders, then make a thumbnail. With all this in mind, making a video usually takes 3-5 to five days and around 10-20 to 20 hours. Question 7. What do you use to record and edit? To record, I use either Camtasia 2019 or OBS Studio. Camtasia you have to pay for, but OBS is free. Elect a live screen recorder is another free option. To edit, I use Camtasia 2019. It's very simple and easy to use, and it's a one-time payment unlike Adobe After Effects and other programs. Unfortunately, I don't know of any free video editing software. To make my thumbnails and edits, I use Adobe Photoshop. It's pricey though, because it's a monthly subscription. What do you guys use to record and edit? Let me know in the comments. Question 8. How do you come up with video ideas? Coming up with video ideas is still something I struggle with, and honestly, it was far easier to come up with ideas when I first started my channel than it is now. The first thing I do is keep a list of any ideas that pop into my head. I've been keeping a list for about two years now, and it's nice to have when I'm out of new ideas. All you have to do is look through my list of ideas and pick one. If you're having trouble starting your list, look at what videos other people are making and see if you can come up with something similar. Make sure to give credit if you take inspiration from someone else's video. Another thing you can do is stick to the basics. These include mail times, leveling, getting VIP, types of people, music videos, and more. That's all guys! Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and like the video if you've made it this far. Have any questions that weren't answered in the video? Feel free to ask in the comments and I'll try to respond when I get the chance. Bye guys!